Some people hate birthdays. Some people are indifferent to birthdays. I happen to love them. I love them because it's basically what you make of it. Um, my mom, she always made it a point to mark our birthday very simply with a picture, a candle, a homemade baked cake that we just, you know, that we crudely decorated. And that was it. It was just a day to mark, you know, a small celebration to mark your, the birth, be your birth. And so as I got older, I kind of took that in and always made it a point to do something quiet or just poignant for me uh, to celebrate my birthday, whether it was treat myself to a good meal, uh, cook for people, invite them over, um, simple, eat a red velvet cupcake, whatever it is. Um, and this birthday came around and I thought, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. I had all these ideas, but it was a weekday and it was cold and I was kind of hesitating. And my best friend, she called me and she said, so what are you doing for your birthday? And I said, I don't know. She was like, all right, nine o'clock Penn station, meet me there. And I was like, okay. She didn't tell me any more details after that. And so another really good friend of mine, she said that she had something for me on the day of that she needed to come to my apartment to give it to me because she'd bring it before I went, you know, I met my best friend. She comes over, she goes in the back, she's doing some things. She tells me to close my eyes before she comes out. I close my eyes, she comes out and she tells me to open it and it's a fish in a, in a bowl, a goldfish. And I literally was like, oh! And uh, just a beautiful fish, the most beautiful color. And I was shocked, I've never had a fish. I've never had a fish before. I've never had an, a pet as an adult. Um, and I was just so surprised and so touched. And I was like, oh my God. And so um, she asked if she could take the tray with me on my way up to Penn Station. And I said, of course, fine. And we're sitting on the train. And I can see that she's distracted. She's looking around, looking around, and I'm looking around. I'm like, what's going on? And I asked her if everything's okay. She's like, everything's fine. We pull into Hoyt Skimmerhorn's train station, and I notice someone that I, I recognize someone, and the door is open, and literally a bum rush of people come on. There's yellow and orange balloons. A friend of mine has a boom box um, blasting 50 cents, it's your birthday. And I'm noticing all these people and I'm like, wait, wait, what is happening here? And I look and I see my little brother and my little sister and my brother's holding a box of my favorite donuts and they're just kind of like smirking at me. And I literally just sat there with my mouth wide open and I just could not believe it. Like I felt like I was dreaming. It was crazy. And they, they basically threw me a subway dance party and it was it was just it was just so surreal you know I said it before in passing like you know something I would love to do is have a dance party in the subway and it's so silly like a fish and a dance party but it's everything to me like the fact that people first of all remembered that the fact that people took time that they that they took time on a on a, on a school night. I kept on saying you guys came out on a school night that they planned this for me like I I just it was a lot it was really I was just so touched so humbled so bowled over with with love I've never it's just it was pretty it's hard to describe I couldn't believe it and even still now I'm thinking about it I'm like did that really happen um you know I'm not uh I'm not the best at giving to myself, but I, I love to give to other people. I'm getting better with giving to myself, but um, this day, it was a deep reminder to that I'm surrounded by so much love that it's okay to receive love. that it's okay to receive love, for me to receive love. And how much love that is around me um, and these beautiful people that are just basically love personified. Um, just so thankful 
And it's like, there's no way, like, I have so much, there's so much to be thankful for that there's no way that I could fully express it, you know? There's no way, I wish I could, and it feels like, like my heart is gonna burst sometimes. I'm just so thankful. You know, but now I have this fish, I call the sunshine, still alive, kicking. <laughs> um, and it's a reminder of that day. And I, I hope, I pray that when I'm old and then I'm gray, that I remember this day, that day with just such clarity, the clarity in which I experienced it. I experienced it. It's a day I'll never forget.